Hi everyone, Christopher here from Themeco with a short video from the troubleshooting series. Today we are going to talk about the PHP error messages and we are going to learn how to read the messages and understand the context to be able to find the source of the problem. So let's get started. I opened up the front end of the website and I see this white screen of death, which is the indicator of a PHP error and problem. To be able to see the PHP error message, we need to make sure that the server is set in a way that it displays the error messages. But the easiest way is to go to the wp-config.php file of the WordPress installation root folder and add a small piece of code. So let's do that. Here are opened up the wp-config.php file and the piece of code is this one that I highlighted. Define wp-debug true. This will enable the debug mode and we are going to see the PHP error message. So let's refresh the page. Okay, now let's read the error. Your server is running PHP version 5.4, but WordPress 5.3 requires at least the version 5.6. It is straightforward and uh, we already know that the problem is that the uh, PHP version of our server is lower than the minimum requirement. So in this case, you need to contact your hosting service provider and ask them to update the PHP version. In my case, it is a local installation, so I can do it myself. Let's update it to version seven of the PHP file. Okay. Now let's restart the server and see the result by refreshing the page. Okay, so we fixed the uh, previous error. Now uh, there is another error. It reads parse error. When it uh, says parse error, it means that there is a syntax error in the PHP code. The first thing first to do is to see where the error is generated to find the file. Now in my case, I have a local installation. So here's the local installation address. And then this is uh, my pro installation and WP content is the folder name of the uh, main WordPress content. And as you can see, the problem is in the plugins folder. So I already know that there is a plugin that is causing this issue. And then I see this hello.php. I happen to know that uh, this file is a file from the uh, hello dolly uh, plugin, which I just changed to uh, make this error, but uh, you will get an understanding of the uh, source of the problem by just checking the address of the file. And you will be able to, for example, just uh, disable some plugins or rename the folder names of the uh, plugins inside the plugins folder to be able to uh, deactivate the plugin and see why the problem is causing. So, in this case, I just go to hello.php and I just added an additional N here for the function and that was the problem cause. So let's save this one and go back and refresh the page. Okay, now there is another error. So we fixed the other error, but uh, as uh, we read, we found out that the problem was the Hello Dolly prob, uh, plugin. Now, in this case, again, this is a parse error, so there is a syntax problem in the um, PHP language. Again, we uh, gonna check the address, and this time it's from the themes and the pro child. So I just uh, added uh, code in the functions.php uh, file of, the, of my child theme, and that is the problem cause. So let's go and fix that. Is the functions.php file and here I just forgot to add the code. So let's add this one and refresh the page. And here we go. So we have the uh, website showing correctly. 
In general, it is important that we read the address of the um, error and the file that causing the problem and it will give us uh, quite a bit information and uh, we will be able to find the source of the error. Thank you guys and see you soon. Mm -hmm.